internet friends, Magic Brad, Synergy Cafe, and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm here with my friend David. Hey, David, how are you doing? I'm doing terrific. <laughs> Thank you. David Kirkaby, he's a uh, sales guy from what I understand, and I just wanted to ask a few questions so people get to know, like, and trust and all that kind of thing, because the internet, you never know who they are. So really? this is a real person. See, he's really here. <laughs> he's not a virtual reality, and we're going to learn a little bit about him. So. Let, who are you? Tell, tell us a little bit about you. You're married, you got kids. You, where do you live? You live in here in Minneapolis, I know that. I live in Golden Valley. Have been back, nice. uh, I'm kind of a hybrid Minnesotan Californian. I grew up in Minnesota, went out to California. Minifornian. Minifornian. <laughs> went out to California when I was uh, 24 years old, stayed 26 years, and then came back. So I've been back here about a uh, little 15 years now. It's like a be back. I did that too. I went out to LA for a little while, then I came back here, and then I moved to Asheville, and now we're back in the land of 10,000 lakes. I like it here. <laughs> a lot of people that leave do come back for good reason. So I told them what you do. You do sales, but could you elaborate on that? When you, I mean, you don't actually sure. sell. You actually train people how to sell. Well, you have to sell the training, so I, I do sell. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Good point. I always tell my people hands that in it all the time. I actually I've been in sales. Gosh, I was, I was just thinking about this last evening. It, it's been close to forty years now. I uh, hopefully not dating myself too much, but uh, been in this business for nineteen years. I actually owned a franchise in California that I bought in early '96, called Excellence Quest. And then when I came back here fifteen and a half years ago or so, I started Kirkaby Resources. So I do. Sales coaching, sales training, uh, have a program for smaller companies where the business owner tried to be the sales manager and they kind of outsource that to me. And I coach each of the salespeople each week. I also do workshops for bigger sales and management teams, not only here but around the country. Okay. I, I was at a conference about three years ago and um, there was two um, workshops going on at the same time. One was on lead generation, the other one was on sales. And I was torn. Where do you go? Because if you don't have leads, you don't need to know how to sell, right? Right. So you got to have the leads, but once you get the leads, if you can't sell them, they're worthless. Definitely. So do you do you work with that kind of mindset and concept on things? Because some people are just about gathering cards at these networking events and leads, 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 and then they never do anything with them. Right. Well, yeah. And in fact, some of the most expensive leads you can generate are at trade shows. You, you, probably aware of that but sometimes we go to a trade show just as a me too my competitors are there I need to be there as well or certainly walking around the show to meet people and get leads but and in the in the small business world uh, oftentimes the business owner relies on the salespeople to get their own leads and to find their own prospects mm -hmm. even though in, in, the, in the real world with the bigger companies with that marketing budgets that's that's kind of a marketing function more so than a sales function Sales really begins when the phone rings because somebody is interested in talking to the, somebody at the company. Uh, but most small business owners, of course, that, that they don't have the, the budget to, to make the telephone ring, so the salespeople has to do that. But certainly when you get the lead, yes, then what do you do? One of the things we really focus on is maximizing that time in, in that phone call for setting the appointment and also what happens in that first appointment, whether it's face-to-face -face or on the phone with a new prospect. And the other thing is what happens after that, uh, before the proposal or, or the estimate or whatever they call it is presented. And if we don't close it, if it's not a one call close situation, what happens after that? How do we increase the, the, uh, the closing ratio? How do we increase profit margins? How do we, as we say at my company, how do we sell more in less time and have more fun doing it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you gotta have fun, otherwise what's the point, right? Absolutely. So. Um, where do you do this work? Do you actually do this, like, do you do it virtually, or do you do, like, do you go to the companies and train, or do people come to you, or how does that work? One of the unique things that we do offer is we do go to our client company, and if it's the part-time sales manager program where they outsource the sales management, the small business owner outsources that to, to us, uh, we go to their office every week and actually sit down next to the salesperson and coach them for an hour and a half a week. And then once a month, we do a, a group gathering where we go, in-depth in the sales training on a specific topic. But part of our model is is training, coaching, and reinforcement. So we're not a seminar company that does a big information dump and disappears. Even in that bigger <laughs> company world, uh, where we do the workshops for the bigger sales and, and management teams, we always want access to those folks post-workshop so we can reinforce everything that we talked about. Okay. So I. I know you mentioned before you do some workshops and stuff, and I'm assuming you got some of those coming up. Is that an ongoing thing that you do? Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, you, most of those are actually at at a specific client premise, but from time to time we also do those that are open to the to the general public. Uh, uh, so we're got one another one coming up here actually at Ridgedale Library in Minnetonka in about three weeks. Okay, cool. Well, I'm excited about that because we're going to offer that to some of the collaborative members and things of that sort. And I don't like to make these uh, interviews too long because people have time, and time is a is a is a is a commodity that you can't replace. Once it's gone, it's gone. So Absolutely. we don't want to take too much time from people. So go back to your work, do your jobs, and uh, stay tuned on the internet. Look for other stuff about uh, Synergy Collaborative and Kirkaby Resources. So peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks David. So much. Thank you. <laughs>